there is a new large language model competitor on the block. Let's take a look. Cloud2 from Anthropic was officially released to the public less than 24 hours ago. So this is the AI and 5 segment. Real quick, let's just go over some of those details. My name is Jordan Wilson. If you haven't heard of Everyday AI, well, this is what Everyday AI is. Uh, we do a live stream, podcast, newsletter every single weekday. So make sure you go to our website right here. There's all of our recent uh all of our recent uh, streams, articles, everything in there. So, so make sure you go check that out. So, but let's let's talk about what I think is extremely exciting. Cloud is out. So, cloud is from Anthropic. So, this segment is AI and five. It's going to be hard. I'm going to try to go very fast. So, so bear with me. So, um, Anthropic was actually started by former members of OpenAI, which, of course. Uh, is the parent company of ChatGPT. So this is why uh, Cloud should be a very fascinating competitor is because it was started by people from OpenAI and it's also uh, one of its bigger investors is Google. So it is a heavyweight. Uh, the first version of, of Cloud was really, it was hard to get access to, but the second version is it's open, it's free, so go check it out. So let's do a quick run through of Cloud. So some, some cool things you hopefully will be able to see. So I'm saying, please summarize the main points of this article. And the article that I'm doing is this from the Everyday AI website, a podcast I did called, Will AI, will AI Actually Take Our Jobs? So you'll see here, it does a pretty good job and it's going fairly quickly, which is also very nice. But just wait, you'll see here, we're getting some hallucinations, okay? Uh, we're getting some hallucinations. Again, cloud is, is 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 a newer entrance. So let me just show you what I mean. I'm going to say who won the 2022 NBA Finals. I don't know why I always use the NBA. It's not like I'm a huge NBA fan. So, uh, But it said it got it correct, right? That's great. So if you're using ChatGPT, you know the knowledge cutoff for the free version is 2021. So I'm going to say who won the 2023 NBA Finals. All right. So... This is where, again, you're, you're, you're getting some hallucinations. So one of the big things about cloud, cloud two, is people, uh, you, you know, everyone's saying, oh, if, if cloud two doesn't know, it doesn't make it up. It doesn't hallucinate, right? Um, and you'll see right here, this is, a, this is inaccurate information. Um, but what's even more interesting is the rationale is also inaccurate. So it says the NBA final, the 2023 NBA finals haven't happened yet. Uh, the 2023 NBA season is currently ongoing with the finals taking place in June. And then it said, as of July, it still has yet to be determined. So not only did it get it incorrect, but also the rationale it used to explain why it doesn't have this information is incorrect. So one of the big, bigger uh, selling points of, of cloud is that it's um, it's it's not going to make up information. If it doesn't know something, it will say, hey, I don't know this. But you'll see here in this very uh, minute example, uh, not exactly the case. But that doesn't mean cloud is, is, is a miss because what we can do, it has a lot of features that are built in. So I'm just going to upload, um, I'm going to upload some data here. Uh, this is from Google Analytics. And I'm going to say, please help me understand this data and give me a breakdown of what it all means, right? So it's going to it's going to do that here real quickly. Um, all right. So this this is accurate. So why I think this part is is pretty um, exciting is that this is essentially uh, clouds. Um, kind of more direct competitor for code interpreter from ChatGPT. So I'm sharing that kind of on my screen here. Um, so let's let's do a very, very quick rundown, okay? Let's just see how all these different platforms handle something. So I'm gonna go into the plugins mode on ChatGPT and I have some web browsing plugins enabled. And I'm gonna say, just please help me summarize this article. Okay, I'm gonna do the same in Bard. So here I am in Google Bard. And then I, I have the same thing going uh, in Bing Chat as well. Can't really access that as easily because I'm using it in another window that you can't see. But I'm going to go ahead and paste the results in. And let's see how, um, let's see how all of these different chats 
handled everything, okay? So the downside with ChatGPT, as you can see, is it's it's taking it's taking a little longer, right? Um, it's taking its sweet time, but it is pretty accurate. So here, we're looking at the same thing that I typed in for each one. Please help me summarize the main points of this article. Um, and all of those things are right there, okay? So let's also take a look at the other ones, okay? So I know I I know we're going a little quick here, but let's let's jump into cloud and let's see how cloud did. All right, so cloud. Okay, so again, cloud did an okay job, but I know this was my podcast. Some of these things I did not talk about. Um, so again, what, what I realized is I believe that at least when it comes to reading links, um, cloud takes a little bit of, um, creative freedom in saying things that didn't happen. Whereas at least here in chat GPT, um, this was all correct. This all happened. Uh, let's look at Bard. Uh, so sorry. So in chat GPT, this is correct in Bard. Uh, not really correct. I'd say this is about half, right? If that, I think it's just pulling from the, uh, from the, uh, URL and it's just talking at will about, will AI currently take our jobs? And it's not actually looking at the information on this page. Uh, but then if we look at, uh, if we look at Bard, uh, Bard did a pretty good job. So this is all, uh, this is all pretty accurate as well. Um, there's a couple of things that I don't recall talking about in here, but then let's also take a look at, let's take a look at what happened here. In, so this is from Bing Chat. So um, Bing Chat did a pretty good job. Um, I'd say if I had to rank them in terms of accuracy, okay? Accuracy alone, I actually think that ChatGPT, it didn't give as much information, but it was the most accurate. Then I'd say probably Bard and, um, then I'd say Bard is probably in a close second with Bing Chat. And unfortunately, at least right now, Cloud was was third. But that doesn't mean Cloud is, is not going to be a serious competitor. And here's why. This the data analysis and the in the ability to upload files, you know, right now that's only native in ChatGPT, uh, ChatGPT Plus with plugins or ChatGPT uh, Plus with um, Code Interpreter. So that's another very exciting aspect. So uh, that was a very quick look. I know it was all over the place. I know we didn't hit five minutes, but that's okay. So the the point I'm trying to make is Cloud Two. I think is very exciting. Uh, here's a couple of reasons why the context window is much, much larger than all others. So, um, actually, let me actually share this, uh, this overview here from Bard. So just looking at Claude two versus chat GPT. So the context is far superior in cloud, but like we just talked about, I don't think it's as accurate in reading in, uh, recent information or information from website links, which are two kind of areas of concern. So uh, I hope that this was helpful. I know this was all over the place. This was kind of a, a different AI in five because I think it's important to, to take a look at this. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please come back tomorrow and every day at Everyday AI for more AI in five. And we'll try to make it more five next time.